Hi everybody, welcome to my latest video review. This is on the Decca and Rita Mint on Card uh, figures. Um, I promised you guys I would do this review, so here it is. I just apologize for it being a bit late. So, here's the here's the Rita and its uh, packaging. We have the remastered Power Rangers, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers logo there, along with animated heads of the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Let me just try and see if I can get a close-up there. Okay, perfect. And it says Collector's uh, Edition. It says Rita Repulse, and it has a really nice picture of her right there. It's the standard packaging of the 2000, the earlier 2011 line. As you can see, the Bandai logo is on the left with the HS4+. Plus. There's nothing on the right. As opposed to the newer figures, they have a new logo here with all five Samurai Rangers pictured. And uh, they have the Bandai logo shifted here. So Rita was uh, released, I believe, uh, believe a middle of this year. I can't really recall when it was. This is the side of the packaging. Then at the back, we have the last, uh, the previous figures listed here. As you can see, there's, um, there's the, what's his name? Sorry. Samurai, uh, Green. Sorry, I was watching a lot of Shin Kane, I almost said Shin Ken Green. But, yeah, Samurai Green, the normal mode, Red Decker. It has blue, they have all of them holding samurai swords. Sorry for the quality, just going crazy there. And it shows another red over here. Yeah. And I think it's the same red, sorry about that, I think it's the same red holding his big weapon there. We have regular gold, the mega gold, and uh, yeah, we have the same samurai logo at the back. So. It's a basic packaging, nothing really new here. And and as for Rita, she goes on she goes along with the four inch figures. Um as for accuracy, they didn't really try with the face. They just gave Rita a really like um standard face. They didn't really try to give her Rita's face, because if you, if you look at this picture right here, Rita's face, let me just try to get it to, there we go. As you can see, her face has a more darker skin tone, and it's more, more rounded, and has, she has more, like, cheek there, as opposed to, um, this, it just looks like a regular, regular, like, face, and, um, Regular face in the sense are a standard face they would use for all action figures. And also the chest, they have those cones that are like way too long. And Rita's isn't like that. At least it's not really that noticeable because of her dress. And also another thing which I noticed is her hands are also a bit like um, a bit too bigger, her wrists. But overall, like for Rita, like uh, it would be wrong to complain after wanting her for so long. And then they finally released her. So that's the Rita figure right there. Next I'll show you the Decker figure. The Decker figure, this is what he looks like. Same uh, type of layout here. They have Decker shown at the bottom right here. And the Samurai logo and the same thing at the back that I showed you before. As for the Decker figure, I won't be able to do a loose review because uh, I didn't find another one of these. I only found one, and I don't plan to go hunting for another one at all. So um, I'm just going to stick with this one right here. As you can see, he looks pretty accurate for uh, uh, from the TV show. He has that skull look. He has uh, his sword, which uh, is right here. He calls it Uramasa or something. And he has like an extra sword, I'm not sure if that's seen in the TV show. Overall, from what I can remember, he looks pretty accurate as Decker. And another cool thing about this is they used a darker gold, or you can call it brown, um, background for their title. 
for the villains, which is pretty cool. So that's basically it for my review, and as always, if you guys have any questions or concerns, please don't hesitate to ask me, and I'll be more than happy to answer them for you. So coming up next will be Rita Luce, and then after that, I plan on showing you all the samurai figures with um, together, because I have pink and yellow and all that stuff. Let me actually show you a quick snapshot, because I have all of them together already. As you can see, they're holding... Oops, sorry, there's like a restriction there. Oh, there we go. As you can see, they're holding their um, uh, weapons from the TV show. But the weapons that were also sold with um, the Mega Rangers. But... Oh, and I also owe you guys a review of the females loose as well. I totally forgot about that. So there's a lot of reviews actually coming up. Uh, so keep your eyes peeled for that. Again, thanks for watching and have yourselves a great day.